Greetings and blessings everyone. How you all doing? Wagwan. Yeah? Welcome to Iron My Blog. Where I say it as I see it or how I see it. So I want to talk about the Jamaican Prime Minister and past happenings. So I'm going to play a clip then I say my piece. And I empathize with the current plight facing public sector workers. The public sector workers have made a tremendous sacrifice. They agreed to a wage freeze that has been effective over the last five years. And if you look at the inflation rate over the last five years, it is averaging close to 9%. That means that the real spending power has been eroded by 9% on average. The government is asking the public sector workers to take the sacrifice once again, to accept 7%. That won't bring them back to parity. It won't recover the purchasing power that they have lost. It won't bring them back to parity. It won't recover the purchasing power that they have lost. January 22, the number out of the Department of Statistics indicates that Jamaica has experienced a 10% inflation. So let us say that February numbers come out at 9%. And March numbers, 8%. When you average out those numbers for the quarter, it will amount to, say, 9%. Now, with a 9% inflation rate, and you give me a 4% salary increase, locking me in a two- or three-year agreement, how can that be in my best interest as a worker? Let me remind you that the last PNP government made an offer of 7% to the workers and said Andrew Holness, who was the leader of the opposition at the time, told them to reject same as it can't bring them up to parity, as you just hear. Yet, in 2022, Andrew Holness is now the Prime Minister and he is offering a 4% increase to these workers. Now you tell me how in Jehovah's name, which was a better offer? 7% or 4%? Does this government look like a government that cares for the people? Where is the love, Andrew? That's how I see it. Thanks for stopping by, and I look forward to you joining me on the Ari Marian Friends Show, where you can say it. Yes, you. You can say it how you see it. Have a blessed night.